Hello everyone and welcome back to the Do Digital YouTube channel. Today's video is all about WhatsApp bots. Now I know that bots can seem very futuristic to most of us, but I'm here to show you that they can actually be super simple to build. And that's with a little bit of help from a platform which is developed by a local agency called Texas Digital, which allows someone like me with zero coding experience to actually build a bot myself. So I'm so excited to bring you guys along for the ride. If you are new here, welcome. Welcome to my channel, my name is Megs and every week I release tech tutorials which help you do digital better. So let's get straight into it. If you are wondering why a bot, then please watch the next part of this video, which explains exactly why there's so much power in using a bot for business. If on the other hand, you are very comfortable with the notion of a bot, then I'm just gonna pop a timestamp over here so that you can skip forward to the part where I start building the bot. So beginners, welcome. If you, like me, are a total noob when it comes to bots, I think you'll just appreciate that little bit more context. So why would a business build a bot? Let's just think about that for a second. So bots can typically be conversational or they can be transactional or they can be a mixture of the two. And so in South Africa, for example, a lot of our travel agencies and our airlines will use these very transactional WhatsApp bots, which will, for example, give you your boarding pass. And so that's an example of exactly that, just a transaction. Then there are other bots which are a lot more conversational. So it really does kind of simulate that call center environment where it feels like someone is helping you troubleshoot a problem. And it's just characterized by the fact that there's probably a lot more back and forth in a bot like this. But then there are some bots that are just straight down the line, which really kind of straddle both of those functions. But regardless of what kind of bot you're trying to build, of course it needs to solve a business objective. So before you even go down the line of what bot to build and how shall I build it on, on what platform? It's really important to have a human centric problem at the center of it and consider what that typical journey does look like because then it's very easy to say yes a bot will facilitate that or expedite that or no maybe it's not the right technology for me. The one thing that I must say has been very apparent to me while I work a lot with the WhatsApp for Business app is that there is a huge difference between the WhatsApp for Business app and the WhatsApp API. And the WhatsApp for Business app is really intended for small businesses who wanna do quite simple things on the WhatsApp platform. And the API just feels like something that's a little bit out of reach for most of us. So as I say, I don't have development experience and I don't know necessarily how to get access to an API. And if I did apply for it through Facebook, once I got that access, I would need to enlist the services of a developer to help me build anything useful from it. So it may leave you in a bit of a lurch where you're wanting more advanced functionality, but you're not a coder. So that is where these sorts of bot builders come in handy is they actually kind of act as middleware between those two need states. And that's what I'm gonna be unpacking for you guys today. I'm not gonna to go too much into the benefits because I feel like it depends from which business or which industry you're looking at, but the most obvious benefits of a WhatsApp bot is the fact that so many people use the app. It's almost free on a lot of networks because especially in South Africa, I know that a lot of the data bundles are WhatsApp specific, which means the data is more cost effective when you're using it on WhatsApp. And it's something that you're so used to messaging your friends and family on that actually for a business to contact you, it may have a more fam familiar sense about it rather than phoning a call center or engaging on a website portal. The other thing is I absolutely hate call centers. I don't know about you guys, you always get put on hold or the person's trying to get information on the other side or log into their system and it just feels like an unnecessarily complex journey when you're just trying to fulfill a sim simple function. And so that's obviously where bots really kind of allow businesses to scale their customer service without having to invest in that additional human capital to facilitate the high numbers of queries which no doubt they receive. In addition to those, WhatsApp is pretty real time. So if you engage with a bot, it typically tends to be quite speedy in coming back to you. And also we know that WhatsApp made a big hoo-ha not so long ago about all of their messages being encrypted. So if you are dealing with sensitive information, it may actually be better for those to happen over WhatsApp because as I say, it's all encrypted. 
So I've just written down a couple of use cases or scenarios to show you guys when a bot would be very suitable. So the first would be checking the weather. So this is something that a lot of us do every day without even thinking of it and it's a really simple thing for a bot to fulfill. Another thing could be reading the news, so finding out what is the news of the day and in what exact topic. And I think that branching aspect of bots is obviously also super helpful because it can help you get to the information that you're looking for super quickly. You could also use a bot to book an appointment. You could use it to check a balance. You could use it as a brand to facilitate a competition. So answer the, answer the simple question and you can stand to win. Um, a survey or a poll or a quiz, which of course would all be brilliant for market research. If you wanted to dig into the sales side of things, you could offer a deal of the day, for example, using WhatsApp. And then in the event space, I think it's also got some intriguing use cases around RSVPing or buying tickets. And bots can be as complex or as simple as you want them to be. So in this example and this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating very simple use cases of bots, but of course this can be as complicated as you need them to be. And I know that a lot of bots actually integrate with specialists in natural language processing. So that could be something like dialogue flow from Google, or it could be Lex from um, Alexa. Like most things, bots can be as simple or as complicated as you make them. So they could actually integrate with natural language processes to make the bot that more kind of understanding and in touch with human emotion. So an example would be Google's dialogue flow or Amazon Alexa, their Lex technology. So it really does depend, as I say, on the use case and what it is that you're trying to help someone to do. If there is a lot of computing power required, then of course there may be additional things that you need to lay into your bot. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I hope that I can just demonstrate that even a simple application could make a huge difference to a business. So this is what the Bot Builder platform looks like, and it's built on a kind of back-end system called Messenger Bot, and Texas has developed the middleware. And part of that is actually this incredible report summary for all bots, which allows you to actually see messages per day. So where people may be concerned about the reporting on a WhatsApp bot, as an example, this dashboard totally has you covered because you can see your inbound and your outbounds as well as down here you can actually see the messages and who they came from and the numbers so if i just hop into the test bot just to give you guys an understanding of how exactly it works um as you can see you can zoom in or out really simply and it's a super cool kind of flow builder so here you can see exactly what the journey would be on this bot. Hello, nickname, welcome to our demo. What would you like to do? Balance inquiry, see my vouchers, send an image. And then depending on the user's input, the bot builder then serves you back a message. So that is an example there. Then I also just wanted to show you one that was a little bit more complicated. So from a facial recognition perspective, um, you can actually build out super rich journeys here where not only are they engaging with you on WhatsApp side of things, but they're actually sending the image that you input into the bot and it's doing a webhook to an API for facial recognition. So that's a more advanced kind of use case of the bot. Um, what I also like is things like delay replies allow you to send messages back to the consumer with a slight delay to give them the opportunity to, for example, watch a video um, or perform a certain action before you give them the next bit of information. And of course, with this kind of WYSIWYG builder, you're also able to add in rich media quite simply and easily and edit it here um, as well. And these make a choice uh, examples are really exciting because where SMS can be a little bit limiting in terms of asking consumers questions or giving back almost like a branched response, these make a choice actually enable these quite realistic sounding two way conversations with the bot, which I think um, is what makes it so realistic. 
And here you can see these reroute conversation ones are taking you back to a previous step or skipping you forward to the next step. So I just, I think the interface is really clear the way that it's color coordinated in terms of exactly what action you are creating for the user. Something else that's really cool is if you press this arrow on the right hand side, you can actually see exactly what the bot is doing. So you can almost have a sandbox environment the whole time. Another thing that's worth mentioning is this top left um, version manage um, option. And that literally allows you to roll back changes uh, or do whatever you need to do from a um, version control standpoint. So that would be super useful if you made a mistake and you actually wanted to revert back. The other thing which is super cool is obviously the fact that you can duplicate, edit and th throw away. And if you, for example, click the plus sign, this is where the magic really happens. So in terms of what you can add, you can either send a simple text message, you can send media, you can do the delay reply message, which I've just mentioned. Then you can either ask consumers to make a choice or you can ask them um, a slightly more open-ended question. And then this is where the webhooks and integrations will live, which um, to my point earlier means that there can be some really exciting applications like, for example, facial recognition or simpler ones where you're just fetching the weather um, as an example for someone. And then in terms of the more advanced functionality of the bot builder, you can also reroute the conversation, which is what I mentioned, allows you to skip backwards or skip forwards. You can do your typical if else decision trees, um, which is based on condi conditional responses as well as conditions which you are configuring. Um, setting variables. So these are custom variables over, over and above those um, that WhatsApp store. And then finally, uh, true or false and event tracking. Now, the event tracking, I must say, is also a favorite feature of mine because it works very similarly to Google Analytics as events where you can set a category, an action, and a label, and this then pulls into your reporting dashboard. So I hope you guys have found this very quick overview helpful um, and inspires you to see that, in fact, you don't need code to build a WhatsApp bot, but actually it's as simple as configuring it in a, in a flow builder like this. And um, I think Texas's expertise in terms of working on WhatsApp for business um, means that they are very um, aware of how to push the boundaries in terms of what's possible. So um, I like that they've also got advanced functionality, which extends past what you probably think is um, possible in a basic bot. And there you guys have it, some super useful nifty ways that you can use a bot builder to do some pretty special functions. And as I said earlier, the sky is really the limit when it comes to bots, so I feel like you really are limited by your own imagination. So I wanted to give a big thanks to Texas Digital who made their platform available to me. I'm going to link all of their details down below so that if you are a South African brand or probably even a brand abroad, I'm sure they would love to help you and love to find out more about what it is that you're trying to achieve with your bot. So until next time, I hope this video as always was super helpful and helped you to do digital better and I cannot wait to see you guys next week.